and welcome in to another edition of A Closer Look. I am your host, Dwayne Nelson, and with me today is the Executive Director of Believe in Bristol, Maggie Bishop. Glad to have you with me today. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Absolutely. Talk about, I know this is a busy week for everybody, but let's kind of get a little bit of foundation here as to what Believe in Bristol is. Well, Believe in Bristol is the Main Street program for downtown Bristol. We are a duly accredited Main Street program, so we serve both sides of the state line, um, both Virginia and Tennessee. And we are all about revitalization of downtown, um, bringing people to downtown, so, um, you know, putting on different events and different promotions for mm -hmm. our historic downtown district, as well as um, enhancing our sustaining businesses that we have downtown. Awesome. Now, how long have you all been around? We have been an accredited Main Street program for um, just over 10 years. So 2006 is when um, Believe in Bristol first came together as the Main Street program. So what is uh, your mission statement, so to speak? Our mission is to make Bristol a healthier and happier um, community, both sides. Um, we are two states with one state of mind. Um, and to really bring everyone together um, and that community hub that is our downtown. And there's, there's a lot of, traditionally like many cities, a lot of older buildings and that sort of thing. And, and a lot of them are staying empty and dormant, but what you are trying to do is to get those buildings revitalized and, Correct. and yeah. people in it. Yeah, the, the main um, issue that brought um, Main Street programs together um, dates back to the, uh, the late 60s and early 70s when um, urban renewal was taking place mm -hmm. and shopping malls were opening and um, interstates were being completed. So Bristol, for instance, was always that place that people came for their goods and services services um, back in the day and then when urban renewal took place and shopping malls started popping up um, people were going elsewhere and so the National Trust for Historic Preservation saw that these historic buildings were becoming vacant and dormant and um, everyone was leaving these um, community spaces that were our downtowns and knew that someone needed to step in otherwise we were going to lose these historic buildings and they don't make them like they used to so we wanted That's to really true, make man. sure that um, that these things were being preserved. So that is when the Main Street program first um, took flight. Um, and Bristol is obviously a, a unique bird being um, two states. So Believe in Bristol is one of only three uh, Main Street programs like ours with two states. And um, like I said, we are duly accredited. So we do, we do double the paperwork every year. Absolutely. <laughs> now, do you have to market one side of the line differently than the other? We, with Believe in Bristol, we stay within that gray area. We don't see that state line. Um, we like to play off of it as far as promotional aspects go, mm -hmm. but um, we really um, promote our downtown as one community, um, which is what we are. True. <laughs> it's, it's just got that little line that goes right down the it middle. It does. Yeah. Kind of messes and, everything until up. Until a Geico commercial pops up, we tend to kind of forget <laughs> about it a little bit. But no. Are you finding that... Um, it seems like the mall concept has been kind of going away for the last several mm -hmm. years. Don't know why. Right. Because, you know, it's like it's so easy to, to do all your shopping in one location. But mm -hmm. nevertheless, it is moving like with the Pinnacle development, the falls, Correct. and of course, the loss of the Bristol Mall, which to a lot of people is such a you know lots of memories sad thing. lots yeah. and lots of memories well shopping trends in general always tend to change every couple decades so like i had said before you know shopping malls back in the 70s were taking away from our downtowns now our downtowns are cool again you know right. shopping small is cool you know because you get these unique things um, I don't think we'll ever lose the convenience shopping trends that we have, such as online shopping and big box stores right. where it's more of a one-stop shop. Um, but downtowns specifically are a unique experience that, um, that I think our society is really starting to appreciate again. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, you can never really judge those shopping trends. They'll give you a little roller coaster of emotions, <laughs> that's for sure. Talk about uh, what type of <laughs> services that you all provide the community, the businesses, and that sort of thing? Well, off of the Main Street program, we have four points that we really focus on. 
So one is organization, mm -hmm. and that's our nonprofit status. So we are a community-driven organization. So I am the only full-time staff member for Believe in Bristol. Um, the rest of our team is made up of um, hard <coughs> hardworking, um, dedicated volunteers mm -hmm. um, that are in my office around the clock. It's pretty amazing to see them work. Um, after organization is design, so that's really how does your downtown look? Can people find their way? Um, is it clean? Um, one of the big projects that our design committee worked on um, most recently was a wayfinding um, campaign. So they worked with the city of Bristol, Virginia, um, and through a grant um, from Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development to put up some signs to direct people to downtown and other big um, staples in Bristol, mm -hmm. um, Bristol, Virginia specifically. Um, so that was really awesome, um, awesome project that design worked on. The, the next one goes to um, economic vitality, which is um, filling the empty um, buildings that we have, making right. sure we have a good business mix. So they actually, that committee just completed their fourth on, entrepreneur grant competition um, where businesses um, put in a business pitch and um, winners are selected. This was the biggest one we've had yet. We had oh, wow. six total winners. Um, each winning ten thousand dollars a piece. That's a lot and of money. It's a lot of money, and um, it was really amazing this particular program because it brought a lot of our existing businesses into the mix. Um, existing businesses that wanted to expand off of their current either product line or services. Um, so we were able to award some existing businesses as well, which was pretty amazing. Um, and then we have promotions, which is kind of the fun one because you get oh, yeah. to you get to promote what we already have. So our small businesses that we have, we um, we pretty much, if you look at our Facebook, we're sharing everyone else's stuff. Um, we do a weekly e-news blast every Wednesday if people want to be in the know on what's happening in downtown Bristol. Every week, we send that right to their email. Um, we also put on Border Bash. We do Small Business Saturday. We do um, the Christmas tree lighting. We do Christmas open house. Um, we we get our hands in everything as far as um, as far as promotions goes. If there's an event going on downtown, it's not necessarily ours, but we try and help facilitate that um, with our businesses and with the cities as much as we can. Now, when you talk about businesses locating in the downtown, mm -hmm. are there particular businesses that you kind of look over and you target, this is the kind of business we want to attract to well, this? Yes, it's really important, especially with our entrepreneur grant competition, is making sure that the, the people that are being awarded the money from our grants um, are fitting in nicely with what we already have. So we have a really great restaurant mix. We have a really great retail mix right now. Um, we don't have as many specialty um, locations, I don't think. So um, I could tell you my dream, um, my dream <laughs> businesses that I'm hoping to pull out from, from some people. But I think we have a really amazing mix right now. And we're, we're running out of spaces to fill, which is a really good problem to have. So, um, not on to the next problem, I think. Exactly. <laughs> now, the hotel project is going on now, right? Yes. One of our hotels, um, we have two slated um, in the next near future. So, uh, but the Bristol Hotel is, um, construction is underway. So, that's the one directly across from Cumberland Square Park and um, right next to the Birthplace of Country Music Museum. So, prime location. We're really excited. And I'm sure that... Uh, it being such an old and nostalgic building, that yes. it, that is bringing a lot of history back to absolutely. the area. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. People are really excited. It's always exciting when you can take an existing building mm -hmm. and either repurpose it or bring it back to life. Um, you know, sometimes you have to tear down and rebuild, right. but um, but it's really amazing to see the work that's already being done and. And the, the gems that they've found in that building are amazing. Um, I know the, there's a lot of really great um, memories tied to the elevator um, mm -hmm. there, and so they're incorporating that into the design aspect of it. It's not working anymore, but um, right. incorporating that into the history and design with the hotel. It's pretty amazing, the, uh, the work that's being put into it for that. So you're saying there's not a whole lot of free space downtown anymore. We are at our lowest vacancy rate in over 30 years. Amazing. It's pretty great. Yeah. We're and you're saying volunteers really do a lot of help with you guys. 
So you're always looking for more volunteers. Always looking for more volunteers. Um, you know, same as the shopping trends go in waves. Um, so do volunteers. But I think in this day and age, um, people don't have as much to give um, monetarily. And I think it's really important to, um, to show people what they can do just with a few hours of their time um, with lo local organizations. And, and what type of work are you, I guess, you're looking for volunteers to do? Any from, any, anywhere from clerical to whatever? Yeah. Yep, there's a variety of things. So we have, um, we obviously have our committees that fall under our four points. So if they want to be, you know, making decisions that way, we always have openings on our committees. Um, and then we um, then move committee members onto board, our board of directors. Um, but there's also helping out our office doubles as a visitor center. So helping out in the office, um, talk to visitors that we have. Um, event prepping, um, working during the event, um, right. answering phone calls. There's there's a little bit of everything um, that we that we have available for some help. Absolutely. Now in the month of September, we got October and of course right into the holidays. Yep. So I'm sure there's all kinds of events that are going on downtown during these next few months ahead. Yes, we have we have a busy couple months ahead of us, that's for sure. Um, next month, this week, obviously, we have race week, which is always a fun time. Um, then in September, in the blink of an eye, we'll have uh, Bristol Rhythm and Roots reunion. Um, and then in October, we have a newer event for Bristol. Um, it's Push Film Festival that our, our organization puts on. It's yeah, the let's, third uh, year. Let's talk about that in the next segment because awesome. I'm, I'm interested in uh, learning a little bit about Sounds the good. Uh, Push Film Festival. Excellent. We'll have more with uh, our guest Maggie Bishop on Closer Look.